Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Swiss Air from Optrail. So the new Swiss Air, uh, there's been some real big hype around this unit, and um, from what I've seen and, and used, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So what Swiss Air is, it's a papper system that uh, you can wear. It'll fit underneath any kind of hood, welding hood, grinding shield, or you can just wear it without um, any shield, I mean obviously safety glasses or something like that. So in a field of uh, where you have to wear an N95, and I know this has been a big topic this year, everyone wearing N95 masks, um, this would, obviously this protects 99.8%, so it would filter out a lot of stuff. So in this video we're going to go over the operation, or just what it comes with, how it works, and then um, everything about it. So let's jump into it. Here comes in that box there. So Swiss Air uh, came out, and it's been pretty... Uh, very popular so the, the mask is actually I'm gonna get it on for you here and um, so it fits around your face and then it has a floor stair so it's a positive pressure system similar to a papper welding hood or a papper like the clear max like they make or the optrail 2.0 papper that they have um, but this it doesn't have a, a hood per se it just fits around your nose um, pushes forced air into where you need the air the most. And I mean, you can do it in an environment of woodworking, metalworking, welding, construction, um, anything like in that area, dusty environments, that sort of thing. Comes with a nice bag uh, to put it all in, with all your accessories. So some of the accessories comes with a charger, um, comes with the face mask, and then all the adjustment, the nose piece in there. Now this face mask is fire retardant and it's machine washable. So. Uh, that starts to add a little bit more value to this product because now I can just take this off, throw it in the washer, and I can clean it. Pretty awesome. I mean, that is, that is pretty slick. So you don't, and it, obviously you can buy replacements for these two. Um, and we'll link all the pricing down below, but they, they do have replacement masks for them with all the clips and everything. So it's pretty pretty neat. So on this unit, and the comes with the battery we have there. Um, and obviously the charging port goes right in the top. I'll slide this thing in here. So on the bottom side, on the filter side of things, so it comes with one filter, and we're going to link down below. You can buy multiple, but there's the filter itself. Um, Pre-filter, and then obviously a, a metal screen on the inside that you can pop out of there, and that just pulls in like heavy particulates, that sort of thing. Very similar to their other papper systems that they have, um, as far as that goes. But the filter is what's different. Um, very cool, very cool little system. So we're gonna slide it up in there. Okay, so this is a backpack unit, um, and this is the only unit that they they make right now for the that sort of thing. But I'll get it on here, and we'll get it try trying out. All right, so I'm gonna get this thing put on here. Um, so a couple of facts about the unit: 14-hour battery life. Um, it does tell you when the filter does get clogged, right? So it, a lot of questions we get, how do I know when to change the filter? Well, if you're in a dirty environment, this thing's gonna get clogged very quickly and it'll tell you low flow or it'll send us warning light out there saying, hey, you need to change your filter. Um, now this thing does an auto, it's an automatic altitude adjustment and temperature adjustment. So if you're going from cold weather to high humidity, down south or you're going from Florida down you know sea level to Colorado mile high um, it automatically altitude adjusts so some of these other pappers they don't and at higher altitudes obviously the air is thinner so they have to work harder to push air to where it needs to be so uh, you start to lose coverage in the other pappers this one does not automatically adjust to that so it does 130 liters per minute that's at max setting uh, one feature on this unit before we get it all on is the, the chest adjustment. So tells me my filter, tells me my battery, and then on off, and I can adjust the fan speed just like rolling the dime. And I'll show you how that sits on my, on my chest here. So let me get it on. One rule of thumb you want to do, so the power button is right there, right above the charging port on the battery on the unit, the power button. So turn it on before you get it on yourself because you can't reach that button. At least I can't reach that button. So, but then then you just, as long as it's off here, it's gonna be off, the battery will be on, and then you just turn it on from here. Right here. So I'm gonna throw this behind me. One more thing here too, this, this mask, I found it easier 
so it clips in there. It's pretty, I mean, it's not, it just clips in those ports like that. So I, I just put one on there and then I'm gonna throw it over my back. One thing I did notice, and I'll show you, really know, is that there's not, so these straps right here, there's no adjustment on the width. So it's a little bit tight on me, but um, I could see where it would be not so tight on other people. And then your adjustments right here. So it's very nice, easily accessible right on the end. And I'm gonna reach behind me. I'll show you here. So this tubing right here goes behind you, goes behind your neck, just like that. What you wanna do, and what I found the easiest way is to get it fitted, reach around like that, plug it in, pull down on that mass there, and there's an adjustment on the bottom, but then there's this head strap here, and you gotta kind of adjust that, because you don't want to get it all twisted, but then it goes on the top of your head like that. So what it's doing, it's pulling this mask, and you can adjust it right here, so it's pulling that mask up. So it's keeping it tight on your face. Let's turn it on here. So I got it set, see about midway. And it's really, I mean, it's flowing air in there. It's, it's very noticeable. Um, obviously you can still hear me. I can breathe just fine. I feel the, it's, it's a positive pressure. So it's, let's turn it all the way up. So it's, it, what it's doing is forcing air in and I'm getting fresh air. It's almost like a little air conditioning right right, right at my face right there. But you can see, I, I don't have to have a whole setup with the neck garter and all that stuff to have this pap around and it works. And obviously with my beard, it works just fine too. So it's forcing everything out. So all the particulate and I still got that TH3 filter on the back, which is a, like a HEPA filter basically. And it's filtering out 99.8% of everything uh, with that filter. But yeah, it's not bad. It, I can breathe. I mean, just just like normal. And I can, I mean, there's no, not really a sight restriction on my nose. It's comfortable on my face. Um, other than the chest protection. But I did have to adjust the straps a little bit too. So it brought it down a little bit. But it's not bad at all. It's very light on my back. And if you were in a setting where you just had to wear a papper every once in a while, this might be the option to go because it'll fit underneath a welding cover. Let me... I got my Optrail 2.0 here that I use all the time. Let's see how it fits on there. Yeah, it fits. I mean, that's perfect. It fits right underneath. It doesn't doesn't hit. Yeah, that's that's nice. Now, uh, some of the questions we've been getting is, it, does it, do I get full coverage? I mean, I, I, I don't feel... All I feel is the air coming out around it. I mean, I don't feel like you could get any particulates coming in at you. And even in the welding helmet, I mean, it, it fits nice in there. It's, it's not, not bumping real heavy. I mean, it, 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 I would have thought it would have snacked, you know, almost, but it, it's not bad now. Would it fit underneath that panoramics? I'm not sure on that. I don't have that, but no, that's really nice. Well, uh, let's try and weld with it and see how it works. Thing here right now, I got my, my flow on the highest setting. Seems to be real comfortable here. Let's try it. didn't hardly it, there's nothing I mean it's that's nice fits right underneath the hood didn't affect my viewing range at all I mean that's that is really nice it's it's comfortable um, so the weight on it's 1.2 pounds on the backpack so super light and you can adjust it right there I'm not even just turn it down turn it up um, 70 decibels on the noise so it's a it's a little bit loud I mean it's not too bad you could still hear a lot of stuff going around so no pretty sweet so all in all, I got the got the unit back off here. Man, it, it is it is pretty sweet. Um, very light, very versatile. I, I would prefer this over 
any style N95 mask. Um, just because I'm, I'm getting forced air pushed in, it's filtered. 99.98% uh, of it's filled. I mean, we're, we're pulling a lot of particulates out of there. Um, even if you're in the medical field, woodworking field, welding field, this thing would work. It's going to fit underneath multiple hoods. Um, I, I, you know, very versatile. I, and it was comfortable. Once you get strapped in uh, and figure out all your adjustments, I think uh, you could wear that for an um, eight hour shift, no problem. Now, the battery, too, and I failed to mention this earlier, but it's 14 hour battery life, so that's awesome. I mean, if you get a full charge and you get 14 hours on that, uh, that's pretty sweet. So, all out, very, very nice. Um, fit comfortable. I didn't have too much, you know, too much problem other than the adjustment. Um, and then that chest adjustment was good. So the price on this unit is right around a thousand dollars. We do have them in stock at BakersGas.com. So we're going to link all that stuff below. Please leave all your questions, your comments. And we'll do our best to answer everything. Um, call us at our 1-800 number. We'll do our best to answer it there too. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.